Actually, um, now that I think about it, the stopwatch could actually <laughs> properly indicate me on how long I've been recording a specific part, so... I guess I should probably just keep that just for novelty's sake. Um, so yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna focus on it too much this time, now that I don't have the 15 minute, uh, prop- the 15 minute, uh, time limit. But hey, you know what, just keeping it around could be definitely make things useful for my videos. Just to judge when um, and where I could stop. Also, whoa, both of my fires are actually increasing in level, so that's good! Ow. No, I don't really- I can't just easily shrug up those enemies' attacks. It doesn't seem like it does that much damage. Plus, I can easily heal from these green orbs, right? Yeah, at least I'm getting used to um, dealing with the fat guys. So I don't have much of a problem with it as I did beforehand. But hey, at least I could- Oh, ow. Go. Diamond Dust. Alright, here we go. This is the first time I used it for Terra, but I don't remember. I'm oh, sorry, not Terra, for um, Francis. Oh, hello. I deal with you, assholes. I deal with you, assholes. <laughs> God, I love sliding down so much. It just homes into the enemy. It's so fucking awesome. It's, I mean, so fucking powerful. It's awesome and powerful. That's what I'm gonna say. They are, they're already leveled up to the max. Holy shit. It looks like it. Alright, let's combine that with another fire and an item. Let's see here. A soothing crystal used to meld. They're all gonna meld to fear anyway, so. Okay, so I was right. Just just from judgment. HP boost! Fuck yeah! Let me uh equip that. Although I probably had to um also equip another fire as well, just to level up those fires, so I'll equip that fire, I'll equip this fire, and have some more Fira. Now this is firepower, but I say to myself. Uh, oh shit, where am I going again? Also, how do you bring out the map screen again? I try, I tried pressing the right trigger thing, it's gonna be, um, oh, I think I've been there before. I tried pressing the right trigger thing, it's gonna be, oh shit, hello, there's a treasure oh right, you have to get maps in order to, I forgot about that. So I've been recently playing, um, Resident yeah. Evil 5. And my first instinct was to press the red trigger, thinking that will pop up the map screen. Uh, that's usually what happens when I play other games at the same time as playing other games. I tend to think that every single control scheme has the same control scheme, when in actuality it does not at all. Alright, let's fucking level up this Fira thing. Alright. Oh, hello. Uh. It doesn't look as... It looks like it's a faster fire, actually. It might be a little bit more powerful as well, but I can't tell. I need to really check out. Alright, right, where are you? There you are. I haven't really used my D-Link at all, have I? Yeah, not really. I should really stop collecting those, too, because it really doesn't need... I really don't need to. My D-Link's are right. You know, fuck it. Let's go. There's... Yeah, there's two more enemies. I guess I could survey my surroundings when I do this, but... It's still weird how it pauses so long every time I use my... thing. Uh, Alright. Oh, is this guy also has a sliding dash to win? Okay. Shit, how'd I get the fuck up there? Alright, there we go. Nice. Yeah, I gotta say, Terra definitely gives- I, I fucking love how the fact that I have the speed of Ventus, but also the power of Terra. I'm loving this. Okay, so maybe I should use Terra just for being a force of will. Also, what's this flower? An overdrive? Interesting. I haven't seen that before, but I'm interested in seeing what it does. As so my D-Link is decreasing over time, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to find another enemy as quickly as possible. There's a barrier there, so I'm assuming I have to defeat all the enemies. But then again, that might be just Devil May Cry logic right there. Devil May Cry 4 is also another game I've been playing recently and really enjoying. I don't know whether or not- I will say it's graphical. It's graphically beautiful, even for an only 2007 game, so I'm really loving that aspect. And I can't really say for certain if I like it more than- I like it more than uh, Devil May Cry 3, honestly, but I definitely enjoyed Devil May Cry 4 so far, so that's something. Gameplay-wise, at least. Story-wise, it's a Devil May Cry game, what to expect. 
I tend to just forgive and forget about the story because I don't really care about it that much. Alright, so this is the magic barrier you're talking about. Ow, Looks I like accidentally popped a zit, I think. This must be Maleficent's doing. I know. Magic solves everything. Shall we? Yep. All right. Did we really need this? Oh, come on, man. Did we really need that scene exactly? Considering how it's just easily fixed by just simple, just this one minor simple cutscene, you don't need to always explain everything. I feel like they could have actually just said that during the previous cutscene. That they'll give me some sort of item that's gonna dispel the magic barrier. Oh, well, whatever. I think I'm just nitpicking by now, but I feel like those weird inconsistencies... I guess they're the fact that I'm trying to focus on those odd inconsistencies is the only reason why I'm trying to do so, because I actually like the game. Like, whenever I really, really enjoy a game, I try to find anything negative to say, honestly. See if there's, like, very... even, like, the slightest improvement could work, but aside from that, it's just all nitpick in general. Speaking of nitpick, that was a pointless run-through. I got one chest, whoop dee fucking do why is there no enemies on the, along the way? That seems weird to me. These don't look like shadow creatures. So I'm just gonna assume they are Maleficent's enemies that I just bashfully murdered. Um, where the fuck are you guys? There's one character there, apparently. Alright, and uh, Zippinituka! Oh my god, that's one hit KO! Fire! Yeah, one hit KO. So, even my fire somehow managed to kill them properly. Level up to 15. I'm awfully leveling up a lot, interestingly enough. I got level 4 dodge roll. Alright then. Is it fast? Whoa! I I feel like it might be slightly faster or something. Alright, I definitely am willing to level my dodge roll. Can't fuck you! Oh, oops. Let me equip that. I want that. Uh, okay, what do we not need? Uh, I guess Blizzard is not really necessary, right? Where's Kier? Kier! Fuck yeah! Use that. If I have another Kier, I'll definitely level that. I really like... Okay, so I could probably, like, just be consistent when it comes to those types of, um, items. If I have two Kieros and combine those two, then... Yeah. I think I really like this this kind of mechanic. I, I'm pretty sure this is not a main staple. Like, I don't think Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to have the same kind of playstyle, but I definitely do like this difference and how it's implemented in the side game. Yeah, Careful, so you too. You're Maleficent. Well, they ain't guarding nothing. <laughs> Tension! No sleeping on the job. Yeah, just alert them, why not? Oh, Ventus, you silly crapples. This might not be a boss battle. It sounds like he's playing the mini boss battle theme. Take out Maleficent's goons? Or at least the some sort of side game, maybe? I don't know. Alright. Well, oh, that was easy. That was easy. That was really, really it. There's gotta be more, right? Yeah, there's a lot more. There seems to be two types of different enemies, archers and macers. Although the archers has not really shot a whole lot of things just yet. I think I can easily kill them properly if I can't. Oh, hello. Probably have to deal with the archers right now, huh? Fire! I did not want to aim there! See, this is what I mean about the auto-targeting. I fucking Okay, that's definitely a huge nitpick for me. It might be a nip it might actually be a bit problem to you guys as well. I'm not sure what you I don't what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the whole auto aim thing? Personally, I find it really ah. Like I want to aim where I'm facing, not auto aim the other enemy. Uh, that's just my 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 perspective at least. All right, here you. There we go. Now, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Still really need to upgrade my deal links, huh? At least my D D link bar. Uh, where have I gone and where have I not gone yet? I don't know. I think this is progress? Yeah, it's question mark, so I'm guessing it's progress. Uh, whoa, what the fuck? A lot of whoa! Magic barriers! I think it's a maze! Just perfect. 
That's what I needed, huh? Alright. So, I can't go that way. Where's the game allowing me to go? Left or right? Alright. And I'm guessing this is a teleporting thing. I saw a lot of blue things, so... God, this is gonna get all disoriented. I really hate mazes, as you can't tell. I always find that I always just get lost in this cap- in this, like, barrier. Like, every time I'm in a new maze, I just feel entrapped in this claustrophobic area. The worst part is I don't even know where the fuck I'm supposed to be going exactly. I feel like this is progress, but I saw a treasure- No, fuck the treasure chest, fuck it. I think if this is progress, whatever. It's progress. Alright, more enemies. These guys are not that good at guarding their areas. You are like the worst guards ever, guys. Just murdering you guys. I feel like these are just minions. They're not actual real life soldiers defending Maleficent. Air or throne. So I think it's perfectly fine to kill them, right? Even if they look humanoid. Alright, where are we now? Is this another maze? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Looks like a big area, though. Oh no, it's another maze. Or it might be the same maze, I don't even know. If it's the same maze, then fuck me. Oh, I got one treasure chest, I guess. Hello. At least I get a glimpse of it. But, uh... uh I just hate these types of puzzles. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. I don't have a really good memory, as you can tell. Okay. There's only a lot of treasure chests here. Oh, hello. You know, there's no barrier on the left side so far from the screen. I have a feeling there's gonna be one right about... Oh, no. Okay, free treasure chests, why not? Okay. And another free treasure chest, why don't why not? I can kind of see through it, I guess? Hmm. But it's very op The opaque is not really that good, so... And this is just where I'm trying to test it. Okay. Now where am I supposed to go? More enemies. Oh, come on. Really? There's, there's really... The only point for this big-ass area is for enemies to spawn? Come on, don't give up my hopes up like that, game. You just make me feel bad now. Uh, I feel like I'm back here now. Yeah, I'm back to the dungeon. Great. There was more multiple pathways, so... It was not always the definitive place to go. Alright, there's a treasure chest there, but the question is, do I want it? Oh, hello! See what I mean what about the auto-aim? Okay. I, I think I just have to get used to it, but... Make it any more or less annoying. Alright, I is this the area you're supposed to go, or is this an area? Nope, it's question mark, so I'm guessing this is progress or just another means of making me entrapped. I don't fucking know. Hello? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna murder you fucks. Alright. Hello. Yeah! Oh, nice! Alright. Looks like it's linear too, like the it's not giving me multiple different pathways so far. Run, run, yeah. run, run, well if that's the case, why even make a maze at all? I thought the point of the maze is to yeah. trap you in it. Yeah. I feel like there might be some place over here, but let well let's see. Nope, okay, so yeah, the maze is pretty damn linear as well, so what's the point of this maze? Exactly? Oh, whoa! Okay, so this definitely looks like it's progress, right? Who knows? Well, whatever the case is, looks like it's gonna play a cutscene, so we'll be right back to the next episode of the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I was about to say Honeypop for some stupid reasons. Be right back.